Welcome back to my island where today, I have no idea what I want to do today. We are just here to have a time. It's been a minute since I've played. I feel like I start off every video now being like, oh, it's been like, I don't know how long since I last played. Girl, it's 2024. Animal Crossing at this point. I'm just gonna... Um, we're gonna ignore that for now. Just, just, just cause. We are back on the island where today we just need to get things sorted. We need to get it together. And right away, oh my God, right away we have, speaking of getting things together and getting lives sorted, look at our iconic couple right here. Starting off the new year correctly. That's their new year's resolution. We love to see it. Oh my God, look at them. They are working hard, the two of them, these two icons. Isn't this weather gorgeous, sugar? It makes Fallbrook look as if it could be the background for a fashion shoot, so true. What about you, Miss Ma'am? Hello. Let's make today our best day ever, period. Period. <laughs> See, that's the mindset. That's the motivation we need, especially because it's January, the start of a brand new year. Anyway, speaking of um, brand new, you know what I think we need to start off today? We need to change my damn outfit. Not from this one specifically, but you know that default outfit I've been wearing? ever since God knows how long. That's gonna be our first mission. Let's see if we can come up with a fun, new, cute outfit. It doesn't have to be for the rest of eternity, but just, just something fun, something to like change things up. Oh my God, Agnes, not Miss Agnes for once actually like serving something cute with this jacket. Oh my God. Hey there, Butterbean on the hunt for a new style, period. See, Bestie always knows what's going on. I thought coming here for a bit of retail therapy might lift my mood. Everything looks so good that I'm getting anxious just trying to pick some, everything here looks good to you everything this is why she's never allowed to pick her own outfits on this island Ooh, we got some cute things we have these cardigans i know for a fact that i already have these oh this like parka oh my god the green mod parka does this not scream like 2015 to you those like olive green jackets that everybody had oh my god that's this vibe right here Ooh, we could wear like this quilted jacket sort of situation i wish the shirt we're a different color. Like, I hate that it's always just the blue shirt. I wish it was at least white or something. I would wear that. Yeah, so we don't really have a lot of options though for clothes. Um, So I guess we're not getting a shirt today. That's fine. Maybe like some new pants. I do like the pants that I'm currently wearing though. I could wear some booty shorts. Yeah, it's, you know, the middle of winter. There's snow everywhere, but like the gams can be out. Who cares? That's not limited to one season. Don't let people stop you from wearing what you want, you know? If you wanna wear booty shorts in the middle of winter, go ahead, I support you. Doesn't really look like there's anything cute. I mean, I could twin with Lopez and be a shithead. Do we think these neon shades would look good on me? I don't know. I like the glasses that I'm currently wearing, but I feel like these ones really elevate the look that I have going on currently. Wow, Mabel, Sable, Label, Gable, Babel, like y'all really flopped. Y'all really had nothing in here. The first day of the new year I'm playing and you had nothing exciting for me that I didn't already own. Okay, this has not got off to a great start so far. Luckily for me, we can still change because I have a bunch of clothes ready in my inventory. Let's start off by immediately stripping. I'm going to keep the beard on because I like having my character have a beard because fun fact, um, I have a beard too in case you didn't notice. I could wear like one of these scarf sweater things, but like I'm not really a scarf guy in real life. I hate wearing things just around my neck. Even collars sometimes piss me off. I mean, like I said, I already have the college cardigan, so I could just wear that. This tennis sweater could be cute, but I, I definitely, that's all I have. Wait, oh my God, why do I have like no clothes? Girl, what the hell? I've had this game for how long? <laughs> and like, that's all the clothes I have? I could have sworn I had more. I like these jackets too, but I, I don't know. Why is this so hard? Why is it so hard for me to come up with a cute outfit? I have like some cute, decent things. Nothing is like screaming at me to like put it on. Like, 
I don't know. Maybe I should figure out my pants situation first. I have these pants on currently. I really like these pants. I kind of want to keep them on. I'm not usually a black pants guy. I prefer denim or like khakis or like chinos or something. If I did have to wear black denim though, I prefer an embellished one like these. So maybe these could be the vibe. Maybe the gay sweater. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Why aren't there any good clothes in this game? I'm so embarrassed to admit how long it's been taking me to figure out this outfit. Like, I just wanna look cute, okay? I just wanna serve charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent in this Animal Crossing video. But like, I don't have any good clothes. I feel so, ugh. Ooh, maybe I can wear like the athletic jacket. Maybe the green one or the blue one or the dark blue. I kind of like the dark blue. We can serve like very like winter core, something that I would actually wear in the winter. Like we could definitely put on one of these hats. Ooh, ooh, okay, the yellow hat. I'm kind of fucking with the yellow hat, but the yellow hat makes me want to change everything else. Hey mom, what do we think? Oh my God, finally, we have the outfit figured out. I think this is cute. I might change it later, but it's good for the video. It's good for now. It's a different change of pace. Who's happy I'm finally not wearing that stupid rain hat in a video? Next thing that we need to do is catch up with our villagers. We already talked to our icons. We already talked to Agnes. So we're making our amends. We're making our way down. I did see Wolfgang up here earlier. Is he still up here? Yes, he is. Wonder how much walking I've done on this island so far. Must be close to setting a record, buddy. Can you actually like say something good for once? Like you're on camera. Looks like the fishing tourney. I don't give a fuck about the fishing tourney. We are not getting into the fishing tourney right now. Talk to me and say something exciting. Hey, did you know that Teddy is feeling kind of down lately? How would you know that first of all? And why are you telling me? What makes you think I give a fuck? If you got some time, maybe stop by and visit, see how he's doing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. He's feeling down? Like, is he in his depression era? <laughs> what does he mean by that? Girl, if he's sick, just say he's sick. If he's feeling down lately, does that mean he's like heartbroken or something? Did he find out that I forgot about him during New Year's? Hi, Gonzo, you were thinking earlier, but now you're not. Thank God. This, it's been too long. You know, you don't need some cock of mammy. Why do these old fucks always have like the most random words in their vocabulary? Girl, where are you learning these words from? Are they even real or are you just making them up? Oh my God. Speaking of new year resolutions, like look at fucking Lopez over here. Lopez was down by the plaza earlier. He saw Margie and Whitney working out and now he came home and started working out by himself. Mm-hmm, Lopez, you unoriginal person. You can't come up with your own thoughts. You have to just be copying people 24 seven. Oh, by the way, that windbreaker rip. Like, I can't catch a break. It's like every time he sees me, he just has to like compliment me and like let me know that he likes him. Like, girl, shut up. Oh my God. You know what? My imp hood would look a bit, imp hood? What the hell did he just give me? Uh, are you calling me a bug? Lopez, next time I catch you outside, it's on site. How dare you do this to me? You think this goes with my outfit? I mean, it kind of does. Okay, I was out here being like, wow, this man is like complimenting me and flirting with me. No, he he was being sarcastic, the sarcasm. Lopez, what are you trying to start with? What are you trying to start right now? What's going on? What's the tea? What happened to the Lopez that used to just like give me constant attention and reassurance that I'm like the best person on the island? Where did that Lopez go? Have you finally come to your senses and realized that you actually don't like me? Dobie, why are you dressed like a student? Oh my God, he's literally dressed like a student at high school, like at a uniform school. I kind of live for that. Oh, I didn't realize I haven't spoken to him in a minute, sorry. Um, Hi, grandpa, how's it going? I remember when I was still just a little wolf and my mom got us a retro fan. Back then, they made quite a racket, but I liked the sound. So I'd turn it on even if it was freezing outside. Once again, Proving that me and him are probably related because I would do the same thing. I love fans. I really do. I hate fans because they do make a room so musty and hot, but there really is like a weird nostalgic element to them because like we've had fans growing up as a kid. Like, I don't know why I just, I just love a fan. Every time I see a fan and every time I'm, I hear a fan running, I just think back to like living in an apartment with my whole family. Now I live in an apartment by myself. Ooh, and I still have a fan. I don't know. That's Marshall. Oh my God, Marshall giving me the first bottle of the new year. This is the second bottle of the new year. Um, Right, gold armor. Ooh, it's something I already know, but 
Thank you, Marshall. Anyways, that's a very fancy recipe. Hi, Poppy. Speaking of fancy, I know you've been on this island somewhere, Cookie, but I couldn't find you. I even stood outside your house for a whole day, except for when I had to go to the bathroom. Did you take a shit on my lawn? Speaking of like hanging out, where's your girl? Like, I'm surprised you're just out here in the middle of the woods by yourself. Lopez is at home working out. Melba's God knows where. Oh, and he has like a little picnic basket. Oh, maybe he's like collecting because there's like pumpkins right here. Maybe he's going to make a picnic for him and Melba. I'm going to try and build a snowman right now. Um, These snowballs spawned in like the worst spot, though. There's like so much stuff lying around. It's like impossible not to. Oh, God, how am I going to kick that snowball? Wait, we got to go around for this one. Let's make sure it's big enough to roll around first. Um, before we put it next to the other snowball. Oh God, I'm gonna crush the snowball. I don't wanna do that. Oh God, okay. Oh, are you kidding me? It just broke. Oh my God, look at this man in here with the full on <laughs> Teddy. Cover your damn mouth. You are a grown ass man. Who the fuck raised you to be sneezing in front of me like that? I'm wearing glasses. My glasses are now covered in snot. His nose is right in front of my eyeballs. My poor vision right now. Oh my God, you trying to get me sick too? Like what's going on here, Teddy? How dare you? Ugh, this cold is nothing to sneeze at, Groove. Well, you just did and now I'm pissed. I, like I just, I, ugh, you're a really good person. Like, I can't be mean to somebody when they're sick. I'm practically back to my legendary ultra tough self. Thanks. If you had to drop by, I wouldn't know what I would have done. Here's something to say thanks. A tea and towel. Also, how is he like perfectly fine now? Was this man faking it for attention? Look, he's fine. What medicine did I give you? I would love that medicine for the next time I'm sick if you're 100% better right now. Unless this man was literally faking it so that I would come over. He was probably planning it with Wolfgang too. What, don't come near me, excuse me? Why did he just walk up to my face like that? Ah, leave me alone, excuse me? Stand by those trash cans. Exactly, that's where you belong, Teddy. Teddy is the manipulator right here because he probably told Wolfgang Gang, knowing that Wolfgang would tell me and I would listen because it's Wolfgang. I see you, Teddy. I really do. Ooh, look at Miss Melba all up in the kitchen. Another person getting their shit together this brand new year. I'm pretty okay at cooking, but it makes me a little nervous when you watch me so closely. What you making? Girl, let me get even closer. What you making? Pumpkin soup. Did it not just say Poppy was out picking pumpkins? Oh my God. Oh my God. It writes itself. Poppy was out picking pumpkins so that Melba would make pumpkin soup for dinner tonight for the both of, mm-hmm. And here I am saying Poppy would cheat on Melba when they're such a cute, adorable couple. Poppy would never break her heart. Poppy would never do that. I live for that. I've actually, I actually like pumpkin soup too. My mom made it for the first time recently. I like pumpkin, but I've never, I, I don't know, like to think pumpkin in a soup, I've never thought of that. But like, it's actually good. It's like basically tomato soup, but like pumpkin instead. So, you know, if you like tomato soup. Oh my God, which speaking of, I learned. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> I'm gonna be proud of it regardless. Despite it being a very easy thing, I learned how to make tomato soup. That's all I've been making. With me and cooking, like I'm a pretty good cook. I like to cook every now and then, but I'm always just like worried to like try new things. When I make something for the first time and realize that it's a lot easier than it actually is, it's all I want to make. Like the first time I learned how to make chicken tenders properly, like Popeye style, girl, I can make a good chicken tender now. I've had chicken tenders like three times this week. Anyways, I am in a rambly mood currently. So we need to move on to the next thing that we need to do, which is get rid of all this cliff here and just try and like clean up the island and like just figure some things out. I don't want to get into like any major designing as of yet, but I will tell you right now, um, I'm not gonna do like anything super crazy, but I'm just gonna kind of clean off this little bit right here, like so. And then I'm probably gonna get like rid of all of this cliff down here and just have all of this area be like on the first tier. 
I don't know if I want to tackle that yet though, because it would have to require getting rid of this area. And I really like this area. I don't want to get rid of it yet. So maybe we'll do that some other time. But in the meantime, um, in case you're new here, I'm about to do some mundane Animal Crossing activities. So you know what I'm about to talk about? Because it's a perfect time to talk about this because I hoping actually like let me say that right now that uploads for the most part are probably going to be a little a little slower because um fun fact i'm back in school we'll talk about that later but i am back in school full time so things are a little hectic today was literally my first day of classes but hopefully i'm trying to get this video out on thursday <laughs> like this is right before the new episode of drag race and it's gonna be like the day of the finale for Canada's Drag Race. I wanna talk about Canada's Drag Race first because we're at our top four. I will say, cause my top four predictions, technically I got half right. Cause I said Venus was 100% in the top four. And then I said either Aurora or Denim. I was genuinely gagged that it was the both of them. I'm gonna be honest. Like I had a feeling Aurora was gonna be in the finale. But then I was also like, maybe Aurora or Denim. I don't know why. I just feel like I just couldn't see the both of them in the finale together. But then again, last season, I felt the same way about Kimmy and Fierce. I couldn't see both of them in the finale together for some reason. Like, because the reason why was because I thought they were going to be lip syncing against each other. The fact that we never got a Kimmy versus Fierce lip sync, by the way, Brooklyn, you will, you will have to pay for that. But trust you will. But yeah, like I thought it was going to be a lip sync and then either like because you know they had like drama and stuff throughout the season so like i thought fierce was gonna send kimmy home it was gonna be like kimmy's third and final lip sync because she was like the lip sync assassin of the season and i thought it was gonna be the same thing because again like aurora and denim they didn't have drama but like denim was gagged when aurora didn't save her or something like that what, what was it oh yeah she picked her for the lala perusa thing to lip sync against so i thought it was like I don't know, some weird teasing thing. And I thought like top five, I thought Denim was placing fifth basically. And that's a gag because I usually get my fifth placers correct. So the fact that I didn't this time around, shocking. Melinda being fifth, I could have seen it coming because she does give fifth place vibes. But even if I did see it coming, I was just too delusional to accept that fate because Melinda Verga is mother. I'm kind of sad that she's not in the top four. I wish she was, especially because like, kittens gone and it was like this was the oldest cast among canada's drag race like they had a lot of older queens and the fact that the top four still ended up being the four youngest queens in the cast it's like yay but it's like i i don't know it would have been really nice to see an older queen make it to the finale at least could have been fun because like older queens on the show nine times out of ten they are you know they're a little mistreated they're a little like it, it's just eh. i don't know i wanted to see a win for the old for the olds, because fun fact, we're gonna be old someday. So maybe don't make fun of them currently because you're probably gonna age like milk. Every season they do the finale so differently. Like the first season, it was just like a dedicated top three. And then the second season, it was a dedicated top three, but then like the way they went from top four to top three, they did like a lip sync Lala Perusa thing at the top four. And then season three, they had a top four and then they cut it down to a top two really randomly and now this season it's like are they gonna do that again or are they gonna like just have a top three once again if it's a top two it's a hundred percent aurora and venus because those two were the ones that performed the strongest throughout the season and they've been getting like pretty good edits for the most part so I could see that, but if it's a top three between Nira and Denim, I know I said I thought Denim was gonna place fifth, but honestly, I could see Denim making top three over Nira. Even though I do really like Nira and I would kind of prefer her in the top three, I'm just trying to be like realistic, you know? I'm trying to think like Brooklyn Heights, who she would pick to have in the top three instead. Who do I think is winning though? My money's still on Aurora. I'm an Aurora stan. I've been an Aurora stan since day one, but if Venus took the crown, I wouldn't be mad. I don't know. I like her too. But Drag Race season 16. Episode two is supposed to premiere, hopefully tomorrow when this video goes out. And all I have to say so far, watching the first episode, um, a mandatory meeting stands, make some fucking noise. Cause that is 
mother. Oh my God. Like, I just want to say right now, a mandatory meeting for as long as I'm alive, she will have at least one fan. After that episode, I don't care. She was mediocre as hell, but she still ate. And I know she is going to eat throughout the competition. She's probably going to eat shit, but at least she's eating. I, I, I don't think she's going to go far but I think she's gonna be well loved. And that's all that matters. A mandatory meeting is an icon to me and to me only. If y'all agree, please sound off in the comments. Like the way during the talent show, like everybody's talent show, she was just so supportive to everybody, even Tsunami. And listen, I'm a Tsunami stan. I love Tsunami Muse. Like she's one of my picks from the get-go. If you saw the last video, you would know that. But if this was like, uh, it, it pisses me off too, because like, she just, ugh, you know, the talent show wasn't horrible, but compared to everybody else, you know, it kind of stands out as being bad because it's just so simple. Runway, I wasn't really a fan of the runway either. And like, ugh, God, I love Tsunami so badly and I just want to see her do better. She better like pick up the pace. But yes, I don't have my, where the hell is my storage shed? Oh, okay. I had, why did I run back to the other storage shed when I have one in my pockets? I am in a mandatory meeting stand. Uh, like the way she was so excited for every single girl <laughs> during the talent show, that's a mother. That is a potential mother, okay? Y'all better get on the mandatory meeting wave. As for like, you know, actual like, winner picks. Obviously, I'm going to wait until like the other half of the cast shows up to like make a proper prediction for the top four or whatever. But Safira and Q are like definite finalists. I could see both of them 100% in the finale. No spoilers. I liked Q from the get go, mainly for her name more so than like her as a performer. But like after seeing her this episode, I enjoyed it. Her talent show was really unique and fun. Um, Runway's amazing. And the fact that she made them Yes, but Safira though. Safira mothered so hard. This episode, it wasn't even funny. She had the best talent show, IMO. Uh, so funny, so creative. Runways, she had a pretty face, you know? You know, <laughs> sometimes, as long as you're just able to sell it with a pretty face, it's enough. She's mother. All you need to know is that she's mother. Mirage was a really surprising one for me though. I. I don't know, like I kind of wrote Mirage off preseason. I didn't really get much from her, but like she had a really strong showing this episode. So like I could kind of see her go far too. That's really all I have to say for that. I have so many things in my inventory that I cannot put away. Oh no, and I don't have my pipe, which means if <laughs> I have to run all the way down because stupid Teddy took my stupid pipe because I'm just so stupidly kind to him for no reason. Even after all the shit that he did to me, I'm still nice to him. The fact that he most definitely faked that illness. If it was anybody else, I wouldn't accuse them of faking illnesses. I would never do that. But Teddy, the manipulating, conniving little thing that he is, no, he definitely did. He definitely did that on purpose. He knows what he's doing. He is trying to get me to be okay with him again for whatever reason. And he is just going at it in a horrible, horrible way because this way is gonna make things worse. <gasps> dung beetle. Oh my God, wait, I wanna catch the dung beetle. I, oh, there were two dung beetles. Oh my God. Oh, they were like trying to build a snowman together and I just ruined their day. Hold on, wait, I actually feel bad. Dung beetle. Dung Beetle, go be with your friend. Please, please ignore me. Girl, I don't know what I'm doing in this video, okay? Listen, today was my first day of school. I'm so tired. <laughs> I, for context, okay, so I just broke another snowball. I, for people who don't know, went to university and I graduated. I have a bachelor's degree. Fun fact, I am educated. My plan always was 2023. It was supposed to be my gap year. And then 2024, I'm gonna go back to school, back to college, because now I'm in college. I used to be in uni, now I'm in college and I'm doing like post-grad degree thing, trying to get a job. It's a business degree. It's not like super <laughs> exciting for anybody wondering, but yeah. And it's full-time, it's post-grad, so the coursework, very, very heavy. And let me just tell y'all, 
the day I had today on my first day of classes. First and foremost, it's Monday. I have an 8 a.m. on Mondays. First day of class, we all show up. Our entire class shows up. We're all in the room, in the classroom, waiting for the professor to come by. 8 a.m., she doesn't show up. We're like, okay, whatever. Uh, 8.30, she didn't show up. 9 o'clock, she didn't show up. People start leaving the classroom, obviously. Me, on the other hand, I, I had nowhere to go, girl. It was my first day at a brand new school and I, I was just too tired to like go explore and stuff. So like, I was just sat there doing my work. I was actually like um, writing out a script for an upcoming video and like 10 o'clock, the class is two hours, it's 10 o'clock and the professor just didn't show up. I've never had that happen before. Like not even just a professor not showing up, let alone on the first day, like just showing up period, never, never had that happen before. Like she literally just didn't show up and like didn't provide an explanation, didn't like give us a heads up or like, you know, the most we've had was like, we show up to class. And then when we get to class, we get on our phones and see, oh, our prof emailed, oh, class is canceled. And this is the first class of a brand new program, brand new year, and that's how we're starting it off. Oh my God, it was crazy. We went to our next class and like told the prof what happened. And they were like, oh, um, you know, that's not right. That's not what's supposed to happen. And like <laughs> everyone was just so confused. No idea, no idea where the professor even is. I'm going to see her again on Wednesday. So like, hopefully she's okay. I don't know. I've never had that happen before. And that's such a weird way to start off the course. And then on top of that, like I said, it's post-grad. Post-grad education is so weird. Cause like for me specifically, I have six classes. I'm doing six classes across five days. I have class every day, by the way. Um, luckily though, the schedule is pretty all right. Cause Monday I have class at 8 a.m. and I'm there in the morning and I leave at, I finish around three. Tuesdays, it's online, so I don't have to leave the house. I can stay here and it's in the evening, so I don't have to even wake up early. It's a nice alternate, but the only annoying thing is that it's <laughs> evenings and it's up until 10 o'clock. At least it's online, so like I said, I'm home, but like, girl, who wants to be doing classes after 6 p.m.? Who wants to be doing classes, period? But like, <laughs> after 6 p.m., I don't wanna be there anymore, so this is annoying. Um, Wednesday's fine, it's just like 11 to seven. That's actually nasty, but better than 8 a.m. So I'm not gonna complain too much. And then Thursdays is online as well. So like it's all it's online every other day. So at least it's not like too crazy, you know, in terms of the schedule. Like, yeah, I have class every day, but like, you know, I can do it from the comforts of my bedroom. Some days I don't have to wake up early and like commute every day. Fridays are fine too, but yeah. It's a busy schedule. And like, this was the first time around where like, I didn't get to choose my classes. Like the classes were just given to me. You know, if I had a say, I would probably have not 8 AMs and also not online. Honestly, I have to be honest, like, I hate online classes. I actually do. I hate virtual classes, Zoom meetings. You know, I was in university, like I said, 2020, the pandemic hit. I was in my third year when the pandemic started. Third year, final semester just kind of goes. And then fourth year, fourth year was all Zoom meetings and it was all online. And I had to do it from home, from my parents' house specifically. I was doing YouTube alongside it though, but like, yeah, I just, I, I'm not good with like virtual, like having to like, like, this is fine. I'm talking to a camera. I'm basically talking to myself right now. Whereas like when I'm actually talking to other people, when the people aren't physically there, it's just so like, like I'd rather not do it, you know? So I really did struggle through fourth year. And I was originally supposed to do fifth year too, because like I wanted to do an honors degree and you know, I decided to just split up my final years across two years because it was all gonna be online anyways. In order to get an honors degree, I had to do like more classes. So I just did them in my final like fifth year. And then I just like, I, I, I couldn't, like I literally just, couldn't I could not do it like genuinely just could not do it that like I did end up like dropping out of those classes and just graduating with a normal degree instead fun fact but like <laughs> I'm still here I'm still fine don't worry like look I still got into post-grad school so like yay it's college that's why I was able to get in because college you don't need honors degrees you just need a degree point blank and yeah I was originally supposed to do an honors degree and fun fact i was originally supposed to go to law school oh my god final like third year i started studying for the lsat and everything 
and then the pandemic happened and now here we are i switched from law to business so yay there's that um you know what yo ho yo ho pirate sounds etc like i always just ignore him and i ignore cj and flick and red and katrina and everybody like i don't give a fuck about any of them anymore for funsies like what if we just did mr gullivar's thing ah right, this buffet may be the end of me lads but i think i could tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet i be captain gullivar legendary pirate feared for all manner of dreadful gull duggery oh this is my first time talking to him on this island mind you i've had this island for three years almost interesting wow i didn't like really even when the 2.0 update happened and he was introduced he was introduced in the 2.0 update right i never bothered to talk to him interesting what even is his mission i don't actually know what's gulliver's gulliver's yet to dig up the phone parts right what does he make you do yeah he oh he just makes you look for his phone oh i have to go diving right we have to go look for his phone <laughs> oh my god because i know it was like a completely different thing oh my god you know what you know what sure let's just do it i don't know where my wetsuit is but we might as well just do this because today i'm just trying to play animal crossing that's the point of this video you know this game's been out for god knows how long i just want to do me i just want to vibe at this point i you know working on other videos blah 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 back in school so just taking things super duper chill this is literally filler while we search for this phone we can discuss so the videos the upcoming videos i have two planned after this one first is mochi mayhem you know the pokemon epilogue i'm gonna do that and make it a video get that out whenever and then the next video that i'm actually currently working on is a new leaf video oh <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. I need to figure out how to download the emulator first and foremost. But once I do that, I want to really try and like make like a fun little dedicated video. That is definitely not his phone. Why would it be swimming like that? I want to make like a dedicated video about New Leaf, like specifically about the beginning-esque parts of the game. So be on the lookout for that. I'm actually trying to like properly script it and like do proper voiceovers and stuff and everything too. So it's going to take a minute for that video to come out. But when it does, hopefully it comes out this month. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hopefully it does come out this month. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, like I'm kind of just doing things. <laughs> I'm kind of just doing things. There's no more schedule. Ooh, a snow crab. So this video is literally just so that I could get a video out this week. Kind of the point of this. Um, I just wanted to play the game, play it with y'all, have a little chatty, chatty moment. And speaking of chatty chatty, here you go, Gullivar. Arr, that's it. That's me, precious communicator. What's the reward? I, I don't even, like, shut up. Like, give me the reward. How the hell is this phone even working? It was at the bottom of the ocean. It's cracked up. Water pressure exists. That has to be a really good phone. And I get no reward because it comes in the mail next day. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that was literally the first time I ever did a Gullivar mission. Oh my God, I'm like 90% sure that was the first time I did it point blank because I don't think I ever did one. Like even back when the 2.0 update came out, I don't think I ever bothered with it because I just knew from the get go, I was like, this shit's gonna be dumb. I like, sorry to Gulliver, sorry to this man. You are a damn fool. Stop with your role playing. Get a job. Mailbox, oh my God, I have not checked my mail in a minute. And of course, of course, the first letter I get it just had to be from him. So I had this dream. I was playing baseball on the moon and it was snowing protein powder and the hoop was made of fish. And then I wowed and was crowned king of moon muscle city. Anyway, I got you this. What was the point of that letter? I don't know. Why did I read the letter? I don't know. Gonzo is giving me a furniture item. Wolfgang came across this rarity somewhere and figured I'd treat you to a gift you weren't expecting. I, oh, another gift from Teddy, okay. I want to see what these people got me. Let's do this little by little. This is Teddy's first gift. A judge's bell. Interesting. This is from Gonzo. A skull door plate. Okay. This is from Wolfgang. A garden gnome. Ooh, garden gnomes are cute. Oh, that's a cutie. I love him. Thank you, Wolfgang. That was so kind of you. And this is Teddy's second gift. Wallpaper. Okay. 
the way I've been trying to flatten this specific area for like the last God knows how long at this point because it was green. It was green, grassy green when I started flattening this area. And now it's January <laughs> and I'm still flattening the damn area. Like, oh my God, I don't even feel like flattening anymore. I don't know. I don't know. This is what happens when you play on the island with like no proper idea. You know what we could do? Let's just like time travel to the next day. Let's time travel to like January 9th and just like do some more dailies and just like hanging out or whatever. That's the thing with Animal Crossing. It's that like you only like it's a, it, the game's fun when you just log in for the day, do your things. And then once you're bored, just log off and go do something else. You know, that's really the essential Animal Crossing experience, like New Leaf, City Folk. Like that's what I did as a kid. I would just go in, do my dailies and then go play a different game. So let's just do that. Let's just time travel to January 9th and do like kind of the same thing that I did today and see if anything more exciting happens. Oh, um, what is going on on this lock screen? Belba and Lopez are holding bowls of soup. Agnes was just staring the fuck down at Miss Melba. What was going on there? I don't know. I don't know. These villagers really do have a life of their own. I'm still wearing my wetsuit. Uh, let us immediately get rid of that. <laughs> Okay, it's a brand new day on the island. What do I want to do immediately? I, um, I want to pretend like I never saw that. That's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to pretend like we didn't see that. We are going to pretend like that never happened. And we are just going to move on. What did I tell you? When it comes to Miss Agnes's fashion, she just really doesn't have any. No, like I'm actually so confused right now. What are you wearing? She's wearing like four different outfits at once. <laughs> this weather rocks. I kind of want to just lay out and enjoy the weather. I would advise you don't do that in that ugly ass outfit. In fact, you know what I think you should do? I think you should just go home and go into hiding and don't let anybody else see you. This is coming from me, your bestie. I am genuinely telling you, do not, do not let anybody see you in that outfit. No, we need to fix this. We need to just fix this immediately. I cannot in good conscience, not even in good con, just in conscience point blank. We need to get her a better dress. She's wearing a pink shades, the pink shades and a pink bandana. Let's just like get her something pink and cute, like the dotted raincoat. You know, like that, probably better. Like, let's just give her this sweater, this heart sweater right here. It's not like super duper matchy with the outfit, but like, girl, it's better than what she was wearing. I just, I cannot, I cannot let her do that. If it was anybody else on the island, I would, but Agnes, Agnes, please, please, <laughs> please, please just take this, just take this and just stop, stop trying. Ugh, that's better like girl that's just way better than what you were wearing before and you're giving me a floor lamp oh thank you thank you for that what color is the lamp i'm curious blue that's why she's bestie she knows my favorite color i cannot believe that's how we started off this day like just just wow like i cannot believe she did that oh miss margie's out here with her little coffee cup oh my god supporting local baristas we love to see it. Support your local coffee shops, y'all. A little fresh air never fails to cheer me up, cherry pie. Ooh, so true. And here's Melba. Melba the koala, you're an outfit repeater. I'm one to talk though. I, I'm also an outfit repeater right now. I wonder what my parents are up to. I should probably give them a call. I need to give my parents a call too. I have not spoken to them all day. Oop. <laughs> I have enough money in my inventory. Let's just like quickly check things out at Able Sisters. Oh my God, that pink dress right there. Oh, if I'd seen that dress earlier, I would have gotten that for Agnes instead. Actually, no, that dress would not have gone with the bandana. Ooh, I have already given Whitney this one, but I love giving Whitney that dress. Maybe the purple one. Maybe I could give her the purple one, or maybe I can get the red one for Margie. Or, you know, Miss Melba. Miss Melba is a outfit repeater. Maybe we can help her out. We'll get that dress for her. Oh my God, see? You see how Agnes started showing her face in public after I fixed her outfit for her? Even she knew, even she knew she was doing too much. All right, here you go. Have this nice red dress, something cute. Even though it's winter time, you can still wear it. Ooh, with the pearls. Oh, this thing is starving. BRs, and she's giving me a trench coat. This better not be ugly. 
Ooh, it's purple. Ooh. You know who that would look good on though? I said I wanted to get something purple for Whitney and even better because I got something for free and we can give it straight to her. Whitney, Miss Ma'am. Ooh, now she out here cooking. What is she cooking up, Miss Girl? Well, it certainly seems that someone is interested in my culinary prowess, sugar. What you making, babes? I'm making some cherry jam. Cherry jam for her wife, Margie, who loves cherries. They are meant to be. They are meant to be. They are the perfect, they are the couple. The it couple. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me otherwise. Whitney left Apollo for a reason. She left Apollo to get with Margie. Exactly. And speaking of icons, I'm going to make you look iconic right now by giving you the pleather trench coat. This designer trench coat that I definitely bought myself. It's definitely not a hand-me-down. I'll say that much. Period. Period. She's wearing it at home while cooking up some cherry jam. Who cares? She's going to serve. She's going to serve regardless. An after school jacket. Oh my God, how fitting. I'm recording this after school. Oh my God. Wait, what color is this? Gray. Whose favorite color on the island is gray? I think Gonzo. We're going to do my little gift exchange telephone game right now, in case you haven't noticed. I gave something to Melba. Melba gave me something. I'm giving that to Whitney. Whitney gave me something. Now I'm going to give it to Gonzo and see if he gives me a reward in return. You can have this after school jacket. You probably haven't been in school in like 60 years, but who cares? Who cares? You could still serve school chic if you want. You know my style better than I do. Exactly, exactly, Gonzo. And he's giving me a kettle. I would have preferred like a clothing item to give to a villager, but sure, a kettle, like, <laughs> it better at least be like a cute color, like red or something. Oh, oh. Damn, Gonzo got the perfect outfit for me and he immediately had to leave his house to go stunt. Go stunt on everybody. Yes, Gonzo, we love the confidence. What color is this kettle? Is it red? It's blue. Oh, <gasps> see, Gonzo knows me so well. That's why he's step grandpa. That's my step grandpa right there. He knows me so well and I know him so well. Gonzo, I'm so sorry I ever considered kicking you off the island. Ooh. Whose favorite color on the... Whose favorite color on the island is blue? Maybe it is Poppy's, hold on. Cause I've given Poppy blue items before and he's gifted me things. So maybe, maybe he'll gift me something for this kettle. Yes, he's giving me a worker's jacket. He's telling me to go to work. What color is this worker's jacket? It's blue as well, dang it. I don't know who to give it to. Teddy's home. I don't know if Teddy will give me something in return though. He's still in his pajamas. Girl, two days in a row, are you still sick? Hello? I'm gonna give him this jacket because it's better than what he's currently wearing. This man really is like in a depression right now though, isn't he? <laughs> like, isn't, oh, and he ruined the streak. Leave it to Teddy. Of course, Teddy of all people had to ruin the streak. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. Did y'all see that? Damn, as soon as you open up the game, Okay. And they are proud, out and proud about their relationship as they should be. Just making out at Town Plaza. Damn, just all out in the open. I forgot about Poppy's birthday. Oh no, it's Poppy's birthday. And we have a campsite villager. Of course we have a freaking campsite villager. Of course we do. Because at this point I'm getting campsite villagers in every single video. Did Nintendo like secretly update my game alone? to get more campsite villagers. Why am I always running into them? It's Poppy's birthday. We need to get something for Poppy. But first and foremost, we need to see who this campsite villager is. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably not gonna take them onto the island because I don't know, like there's not really anybody worth taking out right now, as of now, unless it's like Fang. I think Fang's the only one I'm willing to like bring onto the island. It's Shep, Shepperoni, hello. Don't call me a local, excuse me, do I look like a local to you? So we know from previous research that Poppy does like blue. So we could get Poppy a blue item and count that as his birthday gift and get a good item in return. Teddy, why are we wearing the same hat? He saw me two days in a row wearing that yellow beanie and now that he's finally feeling better and he's out in the world, he chose to wear his yellow beanie. Like, girl, you know, like I deserve this bag right here for the way I'm feeling right now, but no, we need to get something for Poppy. 
There better be something blue in here. Something blue and cute that would look cute on Poppy. Ooh, I can get him the jersey. I like to think that Poppy kind of gives off jock vibes to me. Like he's a lazy jock. So that could be cute. I think I'm gonna give him the jersey. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna wear it so that, you know, <laughs> it spawns right away and we can just, um, you know, take it off immediately and wrap it up because Hey, Animal Crossing New Horizons, they don't give you the option to put things in your pockets if your storage isn't full. I mean, I guess while I'm in here, I could like get myself something else to wear. You know what? Like, what if I just like, what if I just, you know, to just describe my current mental state? Like, let's just put some fuck ass outfit on right now. This this is the vibe. This really is the vibe. Maybe the skirt instead. <laughs> Should I just wear this? I'm just gonna wear this. This is what I'm feeling like right now. Whitney! Oh, his best friend. Of course, both of his best friends are here. These two are looking dapper as hell and I decided to roll up looking like this. I'm just gonna give Poppy his gift and, you know, go. Because, um, yeah, like girl, I, I just, I cannot be seen in public right now. I cannot be seen in public right now looking like this, especially. Why did I even put this on? I don't know. How'd you know I really wanted one? Exactly, exactly. Poppy and I are one. We really are besties on this island. I need to give him more credit. I keep saying that and then I never do. Maybe 2024 is the year me and Poppy finally start hanging out more often. And I finally appreciate him for the good friend that he is. I, I think we just need to leave the island. We need to leave the island. You know what? Let's do a Cap'n Island. Let's do a Cap'n Island today. And let's see what island we get. Whatever island we get is going to dictate how the week is going to go. I was going to say the year, but I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just do for the week. Oh. It's a dark, chilly, snowy island. Please don't let this mean we're gonna get a bunch of snow. Please don't let it mean that. We have a bottle. This is what we'll end off the video with. Who's in the bottle? Three, two, one. Fuck ass bangs. Oh, but she's giving me something I never had. Okay, I rescind my fuck ass bang statement. Shout out to Eloise, I don't know. Bye.